morning. Good morning, happy Saturday. Saturday it is week three, so welcome to the new weekly vlog for this week. I'm in the back for a change. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we are starting out with taking the cats to the vet. Yeah. It's, just, it's nothing serious, it's just their annual injections, but annual check -up. they're in together, so that's when they're happiest. Yeah, they actually don't like travelling separately, they like to go crammed in the same. <laughs> so we have to get this really big carry, I'm not sure if Rich can show you them. Should we see if we can see them inside? Not happy. They are not happy bunnies, but they are most happiest when they're together, so that's why we put them in together. And they've got more than enough room in there, so. Yeah. It's their annual checkup. So they just go for the annual boosters. Yeah. And we put a big blanket in there. So they're nice and warm. But we're really early, hence the reason we're vlogging, because I don't know about you guys, but when you've got a cat, you never know how long they're gonna actually take to get in the basket. Now these two are really smart, so as soon as they hear the basket, they're like hidden. So we have to do it really early. So we're like 10 minutes before we even need to leave. Yeah. So I think we're gonna just go so they can just get out of the car and stuff. Yeah, in the waiting area, they've got like, relaxing scents and stuff and yeah. so they should be okay when we get there but um what was i gonna say the um willow just surrenders <laughs> willow just like sits there like this like please don't take me and socks he likes to run and hide oh so more of a challenge but he was fine i'm just covered in cat hair so that's why we're an old jumper <laughs> let's go so we are done in the vets and we are both literally covered in hair <laughs> <laughs> willow molts a lot willow molts a lot but they they were more active than usual normally they just sort of like hide underneath the, the vet's table but they were really weren't they they were really like up and about today willow especially willow especially so everything's good they've had their injections so they're good for another year and uh, we're gonna get them home and probably give them some treats because they were so well behaved yeah <laughs> and uh, let them chill out for the rest of the day yeah then i think we're gonna pop to the shops yeah let's go so just spotted these new Lipton real iced tea and I've gone for the green tea mango and vanilla but they do so many nice flavours. So we've got these, we've tried these ones before, the Tinings and they've got the cold, cold infused bottles, they're good. But these, these ones are new and they've got green tea and mint. And they're on offer in Sainsbury's. And they're on offer in Sainsbury's. Black tea and strawberry. We're shopping in the cat, in the cat store. We've got some treats for them at the moment. Yeah, and some food and we've got all the bowls. This bowl's cute, this little meow bowl. And kitty. <laughs> and this one here, actually. Quite like that one. I like that one. Yeah. It's quite thin, though. Nice scratching post. Just look at this scratching post. Yeah, so we're just exploring some new food for them to try, aren't we? Yes. What have you picked up? We've got a... We've got... A Lily's Kitchen. Lily's Kitchen. I think they've had this before. Yeah. And then we've also got them some turkey and lamb sticks. And you were looking at the rabbits, weren't you? Oh, they're so cute. Look, they've got rabbits here. Here they are. Morning. Good morning. It's Sunday already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't really vlog yesterday. Um, we were just kind of at home. Chilling. Chilling, yeah, did some holiday planning. So yeah, yeah not a lot going on. And sometimes you just need one of those Saturday nights, especially if you've had a really long week um, and you just want to crash on a, on a Saturday night. Yeah, so today is St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we are up early, we're heading into town now. We're going to get some ingredients because we're going to make some tortilla... Tortilla pizza type yeah. things. Yeah, so it should be exciting. We're going to take you along with us. We used to do sandwich thin pizzas, so we've not done the tortilla pizzas before, so we're going to give that a go. Yeah, and also we've got all our Disney pins out ready, so today we're going to be doing our Disney pins, showing you those, sorting them out. And like I said, we've got a busy week, so it's starting off a quiet weekend, but we've got a busy week, so... Yeah. Let's go. got the food and so Rich you love these don't you? Molten milk chocolate biscuits are just the best. Yeah and you also Barney no, which you look like kiddie um like spongy treats but they're so good. Chocolate filled wagon wheels jammy ones jammy wagon wheels they're almost like moon pies I'd say if you're watching from the US. Yeah some Weight Watchers cookies now we've got some of the ingredients for tonight's um, food. Cheese, salad, baguettes for lunch. Rich is making a tuna, tuna baguette. Oven. We've got some herbs. Yeah. Should I just go over there? I can show you the rest. Yeah. There we go. 
the tomato puree. Rich, you're going to do barbecue sauce, though. I'm going to do barbecue sauce. Yeah. And the wraps, of course. Tortilla wraps and the peppers and the onions. So we are good to go for this evening's dinner. Check in with us a little bit later, and we'll be making it. Also yeah. got some allergy and hay fever because we noticed that our allergies are starting. So it's hay fever season. Our eyes were itching like crazy. Yeah. Which caught us off guard because we weren't too prepared for hay fever season. Yeah, we walked past a bit with um, cherry blossoms and yeah. and it's like really strong. So yeah, we've got some one a day allergy. For now, we're gonna make lunch. Hey everyone. Hello. Good afternoon. So the kettle is just about to boil. It's tea time. Tea this is the time. time of day we normally have our afternoon tea. There it goes. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna make some tea. Um, I am gonna have, I think, some, we've got all the teas up there. <laughs> As you can see, it's clearly our tea cupboard. <laughs> Biscuit brew. And I think, Rich, what are you having? Do you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the real iced tea that we bought. Yeah, cold yesterday. brew. Yesterday, cold brew, yeah. So you only just put it in cold water? Yeah, green tea, mango and vanilla flavour. Right, and then it's mug time. Yes. What mug are you going to have? I'm going to have... I'm going to go for Wally. I knew you'd pick that one. <laughs> it was Wally. kind of at the forefront. Yeah. And I'm going to go for... This is where Luke takes ages to pick. <laughs> there's too many. I love <laughs> No, there's not too many, there's not too many, there's never too many. I'm going to go for this one. I really like this mug, it's a really nice... We need to mix the cupboard up a little bit so that the ones at the back don't get forgotten. Yeah, so we're gonna make some nice tea now. I think the advice with the biscuit brew is to let it brew for about five minutes. On the packaging, it says four to five, but I give it a good five minutes and then I feel like the longer you leave it, the nicer it is. Got one super affectionate socks cat right now. Hello. Come on then. Here he goes. Good boy. Loves to have a cuddle, don't you, in the afternoon? You purring? Hmm? Let's see. Can you hear the purring? Oh, <laughs> he loves a cuddle, don't you? Good boy. Okay, so while Luke's doing some editing, I'm gonna start preparing the vegetables and getting everything ready for our pizzas. So we've got all the veg cut up ready. Now, I know I've said in previous vlogs, I'm not too much of a fan of pizzas, and I think it's pretty much just the tomato puree and the, the base and the cheese mixing all together. It's just not a taste I really like. So to help mask that a little bit, I add a bit of barbecue sauce. Now I know it's not the, um, the normal barbecue sauce that I pick, but, this will do. Pizza time. Pizza time. So we've got the wraps here. So we're going to just do start with just one each and see how we go. And then we're just going to have a. I'm going to have a barbecue sauce base because I'm sure some of you might be thinking if you've watched any of our previous vlogs, he doesn't like pizzas. No. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't in general. But if it's got a barbecue base. So um, let's squirt some barbecue yeah. on there then. And I know it's not Sweet Baby Ray's, but this one is already open and we have a rule in our house where we have to use the one that's open first. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to spread that around with a spoon. Yeah. So nicely spread, but we want to leave a little bit of a gap around the edges and Luke's just doing his now. So I'm using tomato puree just because it's... I think that's what I just don't like about pizzas. It's a tomato puree base. Yeah. Cheese nice and lightly sprinkled because the thing is these bases are so thin more yeah a little bit more is that too light <laughs> <laughs> nicely evenly spread you might want to put it around here maybe yeah you can tell i don't do pizzas very often <laughs> <laughs> amateur <laughs> i'll help <laughs> oh dear i can't even do pizzas right let's add some to mine there we go that's Rich's one. <laughs> I did joke with Luke a minute ago. I put one little mushroom on there. I was like, done. <laughs> <laughs> and there's my one. So we're now going to put them on some baking trays with foil. And I think we'll bake them for about eight to ten eight minutes. Eight to ten minutes. Yeah. yeah, we'll let you know when they come it's out. It's a nice little side salad. Uh, it's literally the butter head. We love this lettuce. 
it's so nice. So we're having a little side salad. I'm picking up the uh, salad left over. Still got some Hidden Valley fat-free ranch from our Florida trip. So it had, it had an expiry date of September, which is good. So That's really good. Yeah, we're gonna have some of that as well. Which is finished pizza. Um, nice and like crispy on the round. And we could have gone a bit further up here. I think yeah. I missed a little bit here. We're gonna slice it now with a pizza slice. Here's my one, nice and crisp. Yay! So Rich is having intense cuddles with Willow right now. And she has this thing where before she goes to sleep, she comes down on the rug and demands cuddles. It's only like seven o'clock and she's, she's a bit like early. all over the floor. <laughs> but we've just been watching The Good Fight season two on Amazon Prime TV. And we were big fans of The Good Wife. The Good Wife. This is kind of the spin off, isn't it? Yeah. And um, for anyone else that watches it, we, it's a really, really good series. Yeah. Um, and we really like Elsbeth Tassioni. So if she you watch her, she's a, a funny, she's yeah. a funny lawyer. But yeah, if you liked The Good Wife, this is really good. And we actually got into it on the air, on the plane, didn't we? On the plane, yeah. So B A and I think Virgin had like the first two episodes. So if they have them still, it's worth checking it out. But yeah, that's our, we're gonna watch some vlogs now as well, aren't we? Good morning and happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday the 19th and it's, we actually didn't vlog at all yesterday. I had an interview, so I had to really prep for that, focus on that. So wasn't really around, I know Rich had a long day. So today is actually our anniversary for our wedding. So we got married three years ago and Rich is actually on a two day meeting in London so we're not actually, this morning I actually dropped him off at 6.55 in the morning to get into London. So he had an early start, um, but he's staying up there. So I'm going to have dinner with him tonight. I can't stay in the same hotel because of the company rules, but it doesn't stop in me, it doesn't stop me going up, having dinner. Um, so it's about midday now. I think I'm gonna head up for maybe two, three. Um, and rather than Rich take luggage, I actually am going to take the suitcase up with me. Um, it saved him having to lug a little suitcase up when it was rush hour, which you know what the rush hour trains are like, it's cramped. So I'm going to actually take the luggage up for him and then he can bring his luggage back tomorrow when I pick him up. So yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do. It's very central London, so I might go up, drop the bag off at his hotel and then go for a wonder or wait for him. It depends what time he gets out. There's word he could get out early so we can go explore because it's quite close to some London landmarks and a Disney store. <laughs> so yeah, no idea what we're gonna do for dinner, but I'll try and film along the way. Obviously I've got luggage with me, so it's not gonna be as easy, but let me take you along with us. Look at that old-fashioned uh, pharmacy. Really old-fashioned pharmacy. I saw that earlier. And you want to go to this Swedish shop? We're going to Swedish shop. Totally Swedish. Come on, yeah. we love going to Sweden. Look at this Swedish shop. Totally Swedish. Bila. Bila. <laughs> and they got vlog along. <laughs> Taste of Sweden there. Yeah, we got we went on a Stockholm in our Vlogmas 2017. Yeah. Isn't our favourite chocolate? So Madly. this is uh, right around the corner from Malabone, Malabone yeah. station. Totally Swedish. So it's obvious like a food, food area. Look at this um, 
old fruit and vegetable coming up. So I think we're going to head to Buckingham Palace if we can. We're going to, we've got our tourist hats on today. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to head over and see if we can have a little look. Yes. Just got to hop on to the BT Tower. Well, I've been up there for lunch. Is it closed now for visitors? Yeah, it was a private event. It's very cool. The cool views of London. We stopped for Rich to check into his hotel. All good? All good. Yeah, very nice. I'll show you a bit later on. Yeah, and then we're heading now to the station. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people coming down. There you go. We're out. Yes. Look at all the pigeons. <laughs> the pigeons are out of course today. So, uh, we're walking through Green Park. Yeah. So we've just come out of the tube and it's about so five minute walk to Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Yeah. I had uh, I had um I went to one of the Buckingham Palace teas one. Uh, Queen's Is it like, like summer barbecue thing? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it was a barbecue. It was, it was a barbecue. It was like, why are you like calling it some barbecue? <laughs> it was for her birthday celebrations like two or three years ago. Yes. And yeah, I went, went in the garden party and it's amazing. You I'll always mention this. You'll never forget it. Yeah, to be fair, it was, quite, it was quite a big day for you, wasn't it? And the tea and cakes were very good. Yeah. So I wonder if they'll let me back in. The green park's really nice in the summer. They actually put all the deck chairs, deck chairs out over here. Yeah. And they've got all the daffodils coming out over there now, which is nice. The lovely daffodils. But yeah, it's a five minute walk from Green Park Station to Buckingham Palace. And you can actually just see it very faintly through the uh, oh, the trees up ahead. Spot. Yeah. So, not the nicest weather, but at least yeah, it's not raining. It could be better, at least it's not raining, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're coming up to the, the Golden Gates now. Yeah, so beautiful. Look yeah. behind us. Ah. And the royal standard flag is flying, which means the Queen is currently at home I knew you were gonna mention in her weekday residence. This is where she lives, yeah. So we're gonna get show you some nice footage now. Yes. Please keep off the grass, otherwise you will get arrested. <laughs> what does that remind you of? The Princess Diaries, the scene where she runs across the grass and then they shout at her. <laughs> There's the guards. So when you go through that gap there that you can film just through there. Yeah. Oh, it's not handy, it might get shot. Um, you go in there and there's like another little courtyard where the cars go. And then from there you go up steps into like a little like reception area. Then you go through to the gardens. Listen to him, he thinks he's all royal now because he's been in Buckingham <laughs> Palace. It was a big thing for me, I loved it. <laughs> And then up there you can see the Royal Standard flag and if that's flying it should mean that the Queen's home but we have had people say that it doesn't always go that way. Look at that. And then so the, from the front there you've then got, you can see right in the distance the uh, London Eye 
and Rich. <laughs> But then um, St James's Park is over there. That's where we're having our meet up, just yes. over there. So it's very convenient for Buckingham Palace. I think you get better pictures of Buckingham Palace from further back where we started. Yeah. Because here it's hard to get it all in. Whereas if you cross the road and go around, there's some really good views without having to come all the way over here. Yeah. Get them from over there. But yeah, it's really nice. It's nice on a, on a blue sky day, definitely. Thing to uh, make note of is there's loads of pedestrianisation here. So all of this area. You can just walk across. Which is nice. Which is nice because it just means it doesn't get too crowded right by the palace. And then behind you can see. And even on how dark it is today, that is so gold. That is so gold, yeah. I'm glad the camera's picking it up as well. And in true British fashion, it started raining a little bit. <laughs> Typical London. Right. Oh, Wait, a there There's a tour group. On all with orange hats on that you're just never going to miss are you no. it's quite a good tactic to be honest it's really starting to rain now but here's and there's queen victoria regina imperatrix probably pronounced that terribly so we have made it to bond street oxford street, oxford street. sorry oxford. where am i <laughs> we went to bond street station yeah and ben's cookies is here and the disney store so let's go it's over there and the toy story the new toy story 4 trailer was released today and they've already got a billboard in the, in the shop. Let's see. Ben's cookies first. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Can I have one of the uh, milk chocolate chunk, please? And what one do you like? Triple. Uh, triple's getting on cookies, and I've gone for triple chocolate, and I think he's gone for just plain milk chocolate, but we'll see in a minute. We made it, Oxford Street Disney Store, with that lad in the window, Dumbo, Toy Story 4, there's so many cool new Disney films coming out this year. Yay! So ready to go in. And he's off. Luke, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. So this is something you don't see every day. We've got Mickey. Look at how mini. Royalty. Wow. I mean, she's royalty anyway, but in that outfit, I mean, come on. Let's get a picture of that. It's so cute. So here's the Wisdom Collection, and look at this. And how much is that one? 25. 25 pounds. Easter Mickey. Easter Mickey. Look how cute he is. And it's reduced 12 pounds. Oh, come on. How can you say no? <laughs> the claw! How much is it? It won't focus here, but it'll focus here. The claw! And it's seven pounds. Look at the luggage. Oh, Rich, look, Pizza Planet. I think I saw this one online. Do you need that? That's so cool. Thank <laughs> you. On sale. So cheap. Specific London stuff. They do a London water bottle. Look at that. I really like this. And these British Mickey socks, London socks. Yeah. And then they've got the bag, London bag, and a little London wallet. Look at this. Walt Disney Studios business card holder. That's really cool. I've never seen that before. Desk, seven pounds. I totally would have that on my so desk. For all the business people out there. And look over here. We've got the carousel. Good photos. It walks. Oh, it walks. That's really cute. They've got like, the original Buzz Lightyear here in the cardboard. Oh, I've got the cardboard oh, box as well. well. It's amazing. Rich wants to go the magical Oh, we've got the magical lift. Here we go. Oh, that's really cute. And I've spotted Wally. Look, it's got. Yeah, as well. Uh, it's random, but it's in, it looks like Arabic. So yeah, we're in the Disney Store lift right now and it's 
truly Disney fired in here. <laughs> I wanted to go in the magical lift. <laughs> you ain't complaining. We haven't bought anything. I know it's terrible. Next time. Not today. Lots of I good stuff. Wally. Wally. And um, Mickey and Lumiere. Okay, well, I think we're here. Let's Open see. the door. Oh, oh it's here. Very slow. Oh. Here we are. Here we go. In true traditional London fashion, it is now raining, and we're gonna find our way back to the hotel. I think we're gonna walk. Like, we're there's, gonna walk. It's one stop on the tube, or it's 14 minute walk. Yeah. I think it's just gonna be easier to walk. It's not raining too heavily. We're gonna get some dinner. got the six chicken tenders. That looks so good. And I've got the straight up chicken sandwich. We'll show you the chicken. And Rich has got a barbecue sauce. So we're gonna give it a go. And I've got a ranch. The verdict on the barbecue sauce is so good. Very, very nice. So, how was that? <laughs> the barbecue sauce is empty. It was good. So a nice meal and chicken. Yes. Really good. Somewhere different to try. We looked it up and had really good reviews. It's nice to go somewhere that's not a typical chain for us because we have the usual places in our area. Yeah. London is a bit more diverse. We got Starbucks. I tried a Java chip, which is so delicious. It's like a mocha Java chip skinny thing. I described it as like an ice cream all turned up. Yeah, you like it, didn't you? And I've got a um, caramel frap. So I'm going to say goodbye now. I've got Starbucks for the ride home. I'm going to head Don't back. Go. I know. <laughs> I'm going to head back and see the cats. And, um, and I'll see out. you tomorrow. And I'll see. I'll pick Rich up at the station tomorrow. Yeah. So I'll leave the camera with Rich. Well, I don't know if I'll take the camera. Who knows? We'll see. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. So I am in the room. I'm just gonna have a nice chilled evening. And I did a little tour before I came out earlier, so I'm gonna insert that now. So it's been lovely to see Luke today on our anniversary, and it's very very nice of him to come into London to see me. So I'm gonna chill out now, and I'll put the. Uh, room tour in now. Hello. Hello. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Evening. <laughs> <laughs> I've just picked Rich up, it's gone five, so... Oh, I'm so happy to be out of London, it was so chaotic, and London life isn't for me. I'm like, no. I want to be outside of London living, I'm quite happy where we are. <laughs> <laughs> and we've just been around the shops, had a little wander around, yeah. and now heading home. So I'm looking forward to seeing the cats, because I've been told, Luke sent me some pictures earlier, and I've been told that they have missed me, so... Yeah. Yeah, can't wait. But yeah, we're going to have a chilled evening, which is tired after his training today. Yeah. Um, and then tomorrow I'm meeting up with some friends for lunch and hopefully Rich is going to be able to join us for lunch. Maybe, maybe not, because I've been out of the office for two days and I don't know how it's going to be tomorrow when I go in. Could be tight on time. <laughs> yeah, and then Friday we've got an exciting little trip away. So yes. nowhere abroad, just a no. little night away. <laughs> yeah, little treat. <laughs> so yeah, see you later. Morning and happy Thursday. It's early this morning. I am just going to go straight into cleaning. So because I've got plans tomorrow for Friday, um, we are going away. Uh, nowhere too exciting, but it's a really nice night away for our anniversary. So my normal Friday cleaning day is now Thursday. But I've got friends coming today. I'm going out for lunch and hopefully Rich is going to meet us as well. So it means I'm going to have to squeeze the cleaning into this morning. So I'm just getting up, not showered yet. I'm just going to clean the house and then get freshed up. See you after. I cleaned up the house and I was actually having my friend Dawn come over, our friend Dawn. and. I was, I was thought I was running fine on time in the shower, and then I get a text from Dawn. Here's Dawn. Yes, I was left outside in the garden in the rain after driving an hour and a half. I thought I had for the toilet. I thought I had a lot more time, and obviously I was. I thought I clean the whole house, and I'll get showered and ready. To be fair, the house is spotless and it smells yeah. amazing. There we go. But I didn't know that when I stood in the garden in the rain, did I? Oh dear. So yeah, a bit of a rush, and we're going into Bracknell now. Yes. And we're going to meet our friend um, Claudine, Claudine, and we're going to go to your favourite place. Yeah, Gourmet Burger Kitchen, I can't wait. Yeah, and we might go to Primark as well. I think we will. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> we will. Here we are, Gourmet Burger yeah. Kitchen. And there's a lunch deal. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. 
friend Claudine and Rich is going to be able to join us so we're just waiting for Rich to get here um, we've got the hey hey salt hey hey yeah so we're actually like really early so we're like the only ones in here <laughs> So Claudine has given uh, Dawn some lovely sweets for her kids. Well, we know who's going to love those. Yes. And look at this. All from Walt Disney World. Claudine oh. just had excess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> excess oh major God. Disney snack excess. Waffle cone caramel and peanut butter banana. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, thank you. It's so sweet. We've got drinks ordered. We're just waiting for our final guest. He's on his way. Burger time. And um, we've got Rich some barbecue sauce, which looks different, and some fries for him. You right? Here he is. Very nice. Yeah. At GBK. So we're going to go to Primark shopping now, aren't we? Yeah. Let's go. You go back to work. I'll go back to work, so I won't be joining you. We'll buy something in your in your honour. I hope so. Here we go. Primark time. Here's all the Dumbo, Dumbo stuff. Oh, look at these Bambi shoes here. Did you oh, see these Bambi tulip things, slipper socks? Yeah, they do simple ones as well. And they got Marie top. Mm. Mm. Two pounds. This. 11 pounds. Really nice. All the Dumbo stuff here. Look at that. That's really cute. Travel bottles. They're really cool. So just empty travel bottles you can take. Oh, and bath bombs. Yeah. And look at all this Marie stuff. Yeah. Bath is a sleep mask, gel eye mask. Yeah. So we are in the Disney section now. Look at this bag. You can make a difference with sustainable cotton. And it's only three pounds. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. I think I'll have to get one of those. Because I've got this as the, got the, the Mickey Mouse. Oh, look. They've got a Mickey Mouse uh, bum bag as well. Or yeah, fanny pack. So I said no about doing bum bags around the um, park, but I want one with two pockets really. Yeah. So we call these bum bags in the UK. I know Americans call them fanny, fanny packs. packs. <gasps> they are nice. Look at those. Look at the back. They are Please adorable. Primark, make more men so we don't fit into these. <laughs> I'm going to go on about these again. They're the most amazing flip flops. And they only go up to size eight. Yet they're only two pounds. If they did size 11, we'd have those. And that t-shirt as well. Bit less feminine, but that outfit here. Look, it's the Disney section. Disney sharing the magic. It's really cute. And they've got the little Don't Just Fly and Saw t-shirt. And a little poo t-shirt. That's cute. It's lovely. That's really nice. It's nice that it has got the kind of cut off at the bottom. It's a bit different than the Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Very cool for our trip to Hawaii. Stationary bits here. You've got like a really cool pad. Does it move all the stuff? Yeah, moves? all the stuff moves. That's cool. And they've got like a. What's. Oh, uh, yeah. That's new. Oh, uh, <laughs> man. <laughs> a pencil, a stackable highlight set. That's she cool. Said excitingly. That's really cool. Stitch. Novelty straws, two pound okay. fifty. <gasps> Drink bowl. Drink bottle. That's five pound fifty. Yeah. That's cool. I've not seen that before. That must no, be quite that new. Must and be a really new. cool top shop tiger. And we're just saying how small this little notebook is here. It's tiny. Look how bright these are. Wow. All the Easter eggs and the Easter bags for your Easter egg hunts. These little sweet shops, you can do your own little pick and mix. Rich would love this. Seven pounds for your own pick and mix shop. <laughs> Gotta get some sweets for Rich. So I think I'll get some of them. The size of this huge mug. Thanks for being my bonus mum. It is huge. <laughs> Hotel chocolate. And look at this egg. Okay. Yeah. Look, the little smiley faces. <laughs> you crack me up. Wow. It's like in a like sandwich. <laughs> the shoe. Oh, there's a cookie dough and ice cream one. This was a bad idea coming in here. You don't need that. All the Easter chocolates. They're cute. Wow. We're just back in the car now and went to Hotel Chocolat. We, we kind of saw us in there, but it was hard to vlog. And ended up getting 
a body mist from a chocolate shop. <laughs> but it's this Rabbit 1745 New York, and they do like St. Nice. Lucia, Tokyo, London, and, Tokyo. and it smells amazing. It does, it smells really nice. 10 pounds, so. And I also picked up Rich some sweets. Yeah, let's get Rich. From Tiger, some little Swedish fizzy sweets. So we'll give them to him later. I'm going to show you what we got from Primark. So I got some of these stitch straws because they were only £2.50 and they're really cool and obviously reusable so good to take. I got these cool bags which I showed in the store but I've got one as a gift and a present here, a nail file. And that's all we got so I didn't spend too much. I'm going to make Dawn a coffee and I think we'll do a nice Disney mug so I think I'll do this one which has got hip hip on it. I'm gonna use one of our Christmas drink flavorings so we're gonna and Dawn would like amaretto so I'm gonna make an amaretto costa latte if I can get one out of the there we go so let's make a coffee. I'm gonna have a cold drink so I'm gonna look for a nice glass so all the Disney glasses there, these were Disneyland Paris and then they've got the Tokyo tumblers there Tokyo and Walt Disney World and then we've got all the Tervis shelf and more Tervis up there so yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the Mickey Tokyo Disney Resort mug there we go and Dawn's coffee is just ready. hello, I'm gonna stretch Hello, what are you doing? Oh, and there's socks. Hey, socks. There he is. So they're just having a little mooch around the garden and the terrible grass that needs to Dawn's trying her coffee. How is it? Oh, that's nice. Amaretto yes. Costa. That's very nice. <laughs> yeah, and what were you just saying? It's nice and comfortable and you enjoy sitting in our sofa. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's, it, the house smells lovely, all these candles, and it's just, I'm, yeah, I'm really tired. Yeah. Long drive up, and I'm waiting in the garden in the cold and the rain. <laughs> <laughs> but now you've got a coffee. Now I've got a nice amaretto. <laughs> now we're going to do some esters. We've got four esters to do. Dun, dun, dun. So, a little reminder if you're going to go to the US and you are a UK citizen um, and other places as well, you can get an ester, which is a visa waiver. $14 only, $14. Yeah, it's really important you do use it. I don't think stand up official, really yeah. sure. <laughs> official. You have to use the official website because you can get really stung from really, really high charges. So it's really, really important to use the right, yeah. the right link. And do it nice and early. As soon as you book, yeah. you shouldn't part with any more money other than your deposit until you've got your resters. At least at least six months minimum we'd say. Mm, definitely. definitely. Because if there is a problem you'll end up having to go to London to get your visa and that can take at least six months. Yeah and so. $14 for two years that's seven dollars a year which is what five, five pounds something so yeah really cheap. So we're off to do that. Fun! <laughs> we're just having a look at our lovely artwork in the hallway and the frames are from Ikea and obviously they fit really nice. They haven't got glass in but it's nice and they got so we've got the boardwalk the Japan Pavilion. And Teppanado is just down there. Yeah. It's lovely. And then there's one by the front door, which is just Mickey. And that's just the postcard you can get for like $3. Here we are. So look at the Castaway Key. So Disney's private island in the Bahamas. And there's a ship just there. So yeah. We're just going to chill out now, aren't we? Yes. Oh, there's more pictures. <laughs> I forget. There they are. And, and the favourite one which is Epcot, show, World Showcase all in one. So and we've just lit the skillet as well. <laughs> and our um, anniversary cards are there and I'll show you them later with Rich. Just home and there's a little ritual every night <laughs> where Willow gets on the mat and then she wants Rich to come and sit with her. Literally I wish we had the camera like 30 seconds ago because I was just stood here talking to you and she just sat here looking up at me as if to say get on that rug, aim yeah. me. <laughs> if Rich ignores her now, like if we talk to each other, Willow would just sit there and wait for Rich. <laughs> 
She just looks at Rich. And look, here we go. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> and then we have this. She won't mind me this. <laughs> and then she has this like intense cuddle. And then the, and the purrs. purrs. And she rips the rug, but we don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Is that nice? And that's how the daily willow saying hello works. This is what I live for, coming home, just to, to see willow. And I can song. see her little sushi roll under the table. Oh yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> I'll show you this. this is, where did we get this from? I think we've shown it. It's Target. Target, yeah. Her little su cat sushi toy. <laughs> oh! Oh. No, she wants to cuddle more. Okay. Right, let's have a play then. <laughs> there we go. I just wanted to show you a couple of anniversary cards we got. So this is the one that Rich got for me. And it's from Etsy, and I just love it. It's so nice. I really like that one. There was also a Wally and Eve one that I was really torn, but yeah, I went with that. And you can see all the camera candle wax in there. That's <laughs> I need to try and clean out. Um, and this is the one I got, Rich. I love it, Winnie the Pooh. I love adventuring through life with you. So they've got a very similar adventure yeah, theme. Yeah, I just noticed that actually. And then we got a lovely one here, which I think is from your my mum. Your mum. Yep. And then this one came from... That one's from my nan. And this one's from my nan and granddad. Yeah. So yeah, really sweet. Willow's still purring. <laughs> so I've just made my dinner and you know when you've had a really, really long day at work and all you want to do is come home to something simple, something quick and easy. And for me, this is pretty much comfort food. So it's really simple, but this is my dinner tonight. Fish finger sandwich. <laughs> I promised you it was simple with, of course, a barbecue sauce. So I've done the right thing and I've used up the last bit of the last barbecue sauce, the sweet Heinz barbecue sauce, which is pretty nice. It is nice. But I've now moved on to the ultimate sweet baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce. Yes. Happy Friday! Happy Friday everyone! <laughs> He's driving! Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I know I make the point out of that every time, but I have to take advantage of these moments, seriously. <laughs> um, so we, it's Friday, it's the end of the week, so we're pretty happy right now, aren't we? Yeah, you've got an early finish today. Yeah, early finish, so I spoke about that in last week's vlog where I can work a little bit extra uh, in the week and finish a little bit early one day a week, and today's the day! So we are off to a spa! We are linked with our anniversary that was on Tuesday. Obviously, we were in London. We weren't. We got to have a meal, but we didn't get to stay and all that kind of stuff. So it's been for both of us. It's been pretty a pretty crazy week. Yeah. So we're we're gonna go and just relax and just chill out. And yeah, we got a really good deal on uh, Hotels.com. It was ninety nine pounds for the night, and it includes the access to the spa and the pool. So. Bargain, we like a bargain, so we're not doing any like spa treatments or anything, we're just gonna chill in the pool and just gonna jacuzzi. I think I might have to literally drag us out of that pool tonight because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just and there's a jacuzzi as well, so we're pretty excited about that. So the place is called uh, Donington Valley Spa in Newbury, yeah, near Newbury, near Newbury, yeah, it's in Donington, in Donington, that's it's a good title there, <laughs> yeah. but it's like a really small little country place. We'll show you when we get closer, yes, so um. We haven't really got any plans. We haven't made like dinner plans. We might go to Waitrose just get some picky bits, or we might go to have dinner somewhere. We haven't yeah. made plans yet, so we'll decide later. That's one of the things we like doing actually. When we go away anywhere, we we often like just going into a supermarket, just buying like sausage rolls, packet of crisps. Like it doesn't have to be too fancy. No, we'll show you what we do anyway. So yeah, we might not do that. Yeah. <laughs> You'll probably see us along the way, and then we'll show you when we checked in. Yeah. Just luck. We're in the lift. 
We're going up. An incredibly small lift. So our room is ready early, which is good. So what floor are we on? Two, I think. Two. Hopefully, it's a top floor, and that's good. We like top floor. But the room starts with a three. There's no third floor, so it's a mystery. <laughs> Second. Okay, we're back on the right track. We're looking for three, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> we are terrible at finding hotel rooms. 312. I think we're right at the end. Oh, yeah, right at the end. Here we go. 312. Oh, that's a nice room. It's a nice room. Oh, it's a big corner room. I like corner rooms. It's a little bit old fashioned, but. Chat. I feel like we've been in this room before. We're here. We're here. Okay, we have had this room before, which yeah. is so freaky. <laughs> I've just turned the heating on really bad. Hot, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so years ago when we stayed here, this was definitely the room we stayed on. I'm positive. So sure about it. Yeah, yeah. Came, the heating came on 32 degrees, which is like 90. Wow. So we don't want it hot. <laughs> no. Um, let's show you around, shall we? So we've got a lovely little desk area. Rich has already been straight in this cupboard to see what's in there. With any any room, if there's like a hidden cupboard, I want to know what's behind it. So we've got some gowns. And we weren't supposed to get the robes because we booked a no. basic room. So whether we've had a slight upgrade, I don't know. I'm not sure. But that's very convenient. Yeah. There we are, TV, little seating area. It's very old fashioned. One thing I would say, there was quite an outdated TV the last time and they've upgraded them. Yeah, it's so, about time. Yeah. And that's the bed area nice and we've got a view actually there's a wedding taking place at the moment which is why we couldn't film on the way in but you can see right out front and then the bathroom a little bit old-fashioned but there it is so it's got toiletries it's quite a sizable bathroom though isn't it what brand oh they're white company so they're a nice brand and then bath and shower we should have bought a bath bomb <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, really nice. Yes. So we're now going to get changed and go down for a swim. Hello. Hello. Just been down in the pool. Fluffy hair. Yeah, a bit all wet. And uh, yeah, we had a um, nice swim, jacuzzi. Jacuzzi and just chilled out and just be dried off by the pool, didn't we? It was yeah. so nice. And we've just been looking at the menu of a local pub and I think we're going to go get changed and go. Yes. But we just came back to the room and <laughs> there's like this happy birthday thing. And we haven't mentioned anything about a birthday. because promise. My birthday's not for like... Two weeks? Two, two weeks or so, yeah. But I think their system's picked it up from before and they've given us a little gift. We don't know what's inside yet. Should we find out? Yeah. If you hold that. Okay. Because my birthday's closer, we're going to go with it to be in mine. Because <laughs> <laughs> we have stayed here a few times before. It's been a few years, but... Yeah. Oh, what do you reckon? Some chocolate. I think chocolate, yeah. <gasps> oh, four chocolates four. <laughs> and perfectly even to two so, each. How nice is that? And there's a personalised message there as well on the other side. I won't shake, it's got my name, but how nice is that? Yeah. We didn't open the cupboard earlier, but we found a fridge and it's got a little milk in there and it's got some water, which is really nice. And little tea making facilities. <gasps> These are strawberry and clotted cream biscuits. What? <laughs> uh, I will get it out actually and show you properly. We're going to show you the front of the hotel now as we head out. There it is. And Rich thinks it looks like a retirement home. I think it was at one point a retirement home. Yeah. It's still very nice. And there's two pigeons up there. And they're kissing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here he is. So our room is up there. Up there. The top one. Yeah. And we're just heading now to get some dinner. Dinner. At a local pub. I think. We're hoping the pub's going to be not too busy because it's rated really highly. Yeah. Is it the Fox and the Hound? I think so. It's about two minutes drive. Yeah, Fox or something. There's a film, but maybe that's what it's called. Let's I see. Disney. And literally, we've been driving probably less than sixty seconds. <laughs> I think we're actually here. And it is the fox in the house. It is a fox in the house. There is a Disney right. there was a Disney reference it was meant to be. So yes. we are gonna try here. The menu looks good. Massive hole. Whoa, hold Fingers on. crossed. Let's just get Luke to try and park first. <laughs> I'm gonna park. Okay, so you've got the traditional English signage for the pub. A fox in his dapper suit. <laughs> There's a little gate. Luke's going to demonstrate how to the little gate here. here. I think we are literally the first ones to arrive. I don't think it's. Is it hit five o'clock yet? No, yeah. Got to make sure the gate closes. It's ten past five. We have to just pray 
to the food gods that they are serving right now. Let's go. of the day is fish pie of the day. It's tempting. And chicken and mushroom pie as well. Look at this bread and olive. It is so hot. The bread is so hot. So warm. Get ready for this. <laughs> Look at this dog that's watching us eat right now. So cute. It's fixated at Rich's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice wasn't it? Burgers have arrived. Look at that. Best bit about the uh, burger is the bacon. <laughs> Oh, they got the same thing. Chunky chips as well. Chunky chips. Nice meal. That burger was so good. <laughs> Rich has had major burger cravings since yesterday. So. I know. But I have, a, I have a thing for like pub burgers. Like, because generally they're quite good. Yeah, so we definitely need to go swimming in the morning to try and work that one off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it was a nice restaurant, very small, so like if you're going to go there, book. Um, and it was quite expensive, so it was £40 for the two of us. So that was quite a lot. The no. service was good. The service was good. The burgers, the, the meat was really thick. So I mean, I, I had no complaints. No, no, it was a really nice meal. So we're heading to Waitrose now just to pick up a few bits for breakfast um, because we had the option to add breakfast to the hotel and it was like 30 pounds each. No. No. <laughs> And we're not like big breakfast people. If you've watched our vlogs, we don't, you know, Rich can't stomach breakfast. We don't really have a lot of breakfast stuff. So we're going to get a few bits ourselves. So let's go to Waitrose. Waitrose. Oh, it's a strange one. From Waitrose, let's see what we got. <laughs> so we've both got some fruit for breakfast. Um, we've got the window open to let some air in. We've got these. High protein. We exploit these. So I've got the strawberry and raspberry, and Rich has got the mango. I'm all for mango. It's like one of my favourite fruits. I think we're having them for dessert tonight. Yeah. Uh, or in the morning, and then we've got also some of this, which is number one in Sweden. Number. One. <laughs> we love Sweden. Do you know? <laughs> um, vanilla and raspberry. And again, Rich has gone for the vanilla. And then we just got some milk. So yeah, nothing too exciting. So breakfast, but there are biscuits already in there, so. So that is week three, all God. done. Can't believe three weeks of doing weekly vlogging now. So we really hope you're still enjoying them. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to make them interesting. <laughs> um, but we didn't get a chance to Disney pins this week. And we have to apologize because the focus has been on Luke's job search. Yeah, that I had a couple of interviews this week that came kind of out, not out of the blue. I didn't get a lot of notice for them. So that's been my priority. Yeah. Um, so we haven't forgotten about the pins. <laughs> they will make an appearance. I think we'll be able to do it this week because we haven't yes. got as much on. Um, I've got another interview, but um, we'll have time this week to do our Disney pin collection. Yes. But we love keeping comments. If you keep commenting on what you want to see mm -hmm. and how we can make it enjoyable. Yeah, let us know what you think. We're loving it. We are, we are really, and that's the point. We are really, really enjoying this and that's yeah. the main thing. Yeah. We didn't get to the PO box this week just with Rich working away and everything going on. But next week we'll check the PO box. So if you have sent anything, please don't worry. We'll definitely don't show panic. it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please comment below. Please like this video and yes. um, We'd love to hear from you. Yes. Bye. And subscribe for more. Bye.